me to places I've never been. Hey do things that make me to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I last reported. Um, but yeah, I've been working on a few things and now we're back in action. Um, let's just do the super chill. I'm just sitting on my bedroom floor and Josie's sitting beside me. Um, I actually did a live slash I posted it to my Instagram, my skincare routine. So my skin's all prepped. I've already applied my sunscreen. And we are going to get into the makeup. Now, I'm super excited, you guys, because doo -doo -doo -doo, I have the Westman Atelier, uh, sorry, Westman Atelier. This is the Vital Skin Foundation Stick, and I have the shade Atelier 2. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna draw this on my face. It's super, super smooth. I've used this twice already. The color looks great. And I actually really like how creamy this is. When I used to wear conventional makeup, I really liked the Hourglass Stick Foundation. And this heavily reminds me of that. But like the packaging, just like look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, I'm obsessed. And it's magnetic. So I'm gonna just blend this in with my finger and then anything kind of that needs to be blended out a bit more, I'll use my blender, my beauty blender sponge. But this is just so smooth. It instantly evens out my skin tone. Now I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is expensive. Canadian, I think it's almost like $90. And if you're Canadian, I was able to find this on Saks. The only issue is that I self-tanned and now my neck is just slightly darker than my face, but I'll just blend that out with some bronzer just to brighten up my face. So pretty light coverage, but I do like that it evened everything out. Um, I am going to go in with a tiny bit of concealer just under my eyes, um, just because I feel like I could use a bit of extra concealing under there and because I've had a bit of time in the sun my freckles are coming out they're a bit more apparent on my forehead and my nose there we go I feel like that helped even everything out I'm gonna set with a bit of um, setting powder this just got all over my hand. Oops, it's a lot of powder. It's gonna dust that all over. Really focus it under my eyes because I feel like that's where I get the most amount of creasing. Let's do bronzer. So I'm gonna use my Ilia bronzer in Drawn In. I've been using this a ton lately. You can kind of almost see the rim of the pan that's how much I've been using it. And I'm using this Tarte brush. I've been loving this brush lately because you can just like really easily chisel out. This is helping to bronze up my face and just match my face to my neck. But this is the Luna Bronze um, Total Eclipse Dark Tanning Mousse. It made me super dark in comparison to the other ones I've tried so far. But this actually suits the tan really well. It's a little bit warm, but like still kind of olivey. I really wanna try the Westman Atelier. I think it's like their butter bronzer, but that is expensive. It's like $95 or something Canadian for a bronzer. It's a little steep for me just a little bit I think it's like even more expensive than like the Chanel bronzer I used to buy yes love that 
Like, look how nice that looks. I feel like I just like chiseled out my cheekbones, but also warmed up my face. I also have the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the shade Petal, which is this like really pretty, it's like a rosy, has a bit of like kind of purpley undertones, tones, I can't talk, undertones slash hues to it. And I really, really, really like the color. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead that it almost looks like a bit fuchsia like a bit of a fuchsia undertone can you tell I'm really bad at describing colors you guys um, I'm just gonna blend that in and it actually sits on top of powder pretty well this stuff is really pigmented but a really pretty color Wow, yeah, like it gives you a really natural flush. Now I also have the kind of like famous highlighter. This is called the Lit Up Highlighter Stick in the shade Lit. And I would typically never go for something like this, but it's almost like this kind of purpley blue, definitely a very cool tone, iridescent highlight. And you guys know I'm all about like kind of my goldy champagne, so this was out of my comfort zone. It almost like looks like fairy dust. Like that's what it reminds me of. But I'm gonna be totally honest. It looks really cool. And I think I almost like the fact that it's so different than what I'm actually used to. Um, and the packaging is just A plus. So chic and sleek for um, a clean beauty product. Okay, so that, using your blender, really kind of mutes it and tones it down. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like natural. Like, it makes your skin look like dewy and glowy and plump. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be honest. That, like, bluey, purpley undertone does look like you're wearing makeup. It's not oh natural fairy dust highlight, but... My eyebrows, I've just been doing the Ilya Essential Brow. Um... And that's really just because I ran out of my plume brow pencil, which is amazing. And I just haven't ordered a new one yet because I haven't really been wearing a ton of makeup, hence the lack of makeup videos. I've been super skin focused. But um, I will say that this does make my eyebrows look really just like a bit fuller, gives you kind of that messy vibe. It's not like a very, very precise, sharp brow, which lately I don't mind with my looks, just like super natural, almost going for that like beachy California vibe. Sometimes I just have to take my finger and just swipe if I notice that it gets a little bit like messy, but I'm gonna apply my Hoorah Sun Lip Balm, SPF 15. Great summer lip balm. And this stuff's pretty inexpensive. It's like either $4.99 or $5.99 if I can remember correctly. So definitely affordable. Um, honestly, for my eyes, I am just going to dust with a really massive brush, because I don't have a proper eyeshadow brush, my bronzer. As per usual, and maybe I'm gonna take a little bit of the lit highlighter and just kind of dab that right on the center of my eyeballs to almost give that like dewy, glossy eye look. I don't know if this is gonna crease or what it's gonna do, but we'll see. It might crease. I guess we'll find out. It didn't do a lot, but it kind of just brightened up my eyes a bit. And I think it gave me kind of that dewy, glossy eye look. I'm gonna use my Sappho mascara. And let's pop that on. I haven't used this guy in a while. I've been really into both my Fit Glow and the Ilia 
Limitless Lash, but this is one of my top ones. It definitely lengthens and separates, but I have to say it doesn't do the best job at volumizing like my other mascaras do. But it does a good job at grabbing onto those baby bottom lashes. Okay, next. So I just got my Thick Glow Mascara, and I'm just gonna add a bit more volume to these lashes. I feel like the sun's coming out, like the clouds are clearing. And I feel like this is getting a lot brighter, but this is what happens when you work with natural light. Yeah, see how that just does such a better job of volumizing. Yay, okay. And then to top off the whole look, we're gonna do lips and I have the Kosas Rose Water Lipstick. Now this stuff, this was like my OG favorite everyday wash of color. Now it's not coming up like super opaque because I have like layers of lip balm on, but it's this really nice soft rose color. And it sits on top of moisturized lips really nicely, so. Do a zoom in. So you can kind of see, maybe I'll just add a tiny bit more of my highlight to amp that up you see that like iridescence my tree outside is like blowing and hitting my window I really really do like the finish of it it is pretty lightweight like you can still kind of see some of my freckles through but I think it really did a nice job at evening everything out I do like using my fingers over um, the beauty blender initially just to kind of blend everything out so I don't lose too much coverage and then I'll just blot um, And make sure any of like the lines are just seamlessly blended in with the blender after but Yeah, I really like this foundation um, The baby cheeks is so nice It's kind of expensive and very similar. I would say to the Ilia multi sticks in terms of like the colors this has six grams and this has a 4.5 so there is more product in the westman atelier let's see this is actually a really similar color so you guys can see this one is ladybird let me just swatch it and see how similar the color is similar but i wouldn't say exactly the same so that is the westman atelier Again, it's called Petal, and this is Ladybird. A bit of the same undertones, but I would say this one's a bit more purple, and this one's a bit more on the rosy nude side. Still kind of wondering how I feel about the highlighter. It's different. It's not like anything in my collection in terms of the color. Um, but yeah, in terms of if I would wear it every day, I don't know. Tell me all your thoughts on the foundation and the highlight and the blush. Um, but yeah, this is my little look using some Westman Atelier products that are new to me. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.